हेलो नमस्कार अस्सलाम वालेकुम सस्ती एक काल के हम छह एम रिशब चार्जी एंड वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ द सीरीज आस्क आरसी एंड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई एम गोना टेक हैज बीन सेंट बाय मिस्टर प्रसाद एंड इस क्वेश्चन इस इस कंफ्यूज बिटवीन द एफजी 25 और द केटीएम ड्यूक 250 सो लेट्स गेट स Now before I share my opinion, let me tell you I'm not an expert. So I'm only sharing whatever I feel about these bikes. And this is gonna be like a discussion video. So you all are a part of, part of the panel. So suppose you have, if I've forgotten anything or if I've missed something, please do comment below. And whatever you comment, if the points are valid, then those points will be added on my uh, website post. Uh, of this comparison so link will be in the description so please do comment if I have forgotten something let's start with the design design wise I like the KTM Duke 250 lot better than FZ25 like FZ25 reminds me of the FZ series 150 series from Yamaha and that's definitely not a good thing because I'm paying so much extra for a bike and the bike looks similar to one more cheaper bike so I don't like it and KTM I mean the color combination, the design, the sharp edges, oh my god it looks so different and my friend has a KTM Duke 250 and there are people still who don't know about this 250 series and they always like look like this and they are like which KTM bike is this I have never seen only so it's like really some when you bike this KTM Duke 250 are like a unique person in uh, the whole crowd of traffic. Coming to the engine, Yamaha FZ is not as powerful as the KTM on paper. But what I've seen reviews is that K the Yamaha FZ25 is more faster because it's slightly lighter. So it's faster because it's lighter. But again FZ25 comes with 5 speed whereas KTM comes with 6 speed. So uh, on higher speeds, the KTM is gonna be better whereas in the CT, FZ25. Coming to the headlamp, which is now the talk of the town because uh, the Dominar 400 comes with such a great headlamps. So FZ25 and KTM Duke 250. KTM comes with LED DRLs but halogen headlamps. And uh, FZ25 comes with LED headlamps and DRLs. But Reviews say that both the headlights are not that good and the spread is not much. And the FZ25 also doesn't come with a gear indicator which is kind of not that important but it's nice to have a gear indicator for new riders. Whereas on the KTM you get a gear indicator and also coming to the console, I feel the KTM console is slightly better. Not because it has some special features or something. Because Yamaha's console doesn't look that premium, I mean in a 1 lakh above bike, at least the console that you see every time you ride the bike, it should feel good. But this console feels like cheap and small thing and I'm really not impressed. Coming to the mileage and the maintenance cost, the Yamaha mileage is slightly more, reports say around 37-38 but uh, I can't confirm it and KTM is around 30. Now mileage figures, you are the ones, if you are an owner of either bikes, please do comment below. But uh, maintenance wise, the Yamaha is gonna be last, it's gonna last longer because as you know Yamaha bikes, they are more smoother and also they are known to last longer. Whereas KTM on the other side, because the power delivery is like so much eager and it's like vroom, 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 vroom. so people ride it hard and uh, that's why you see lot of KTM they are not they can't they don't last that long and later on you have to like pay a lot for maintenance and at that time you are bound to buy a new bike because when you start spending too much on maintenance that's when you get the idea that maybe it's time for you to buy a new bike so in terms of longevity, Yamahas are better. And something that I spoke before about power, power delivery on the FZ25 is more linear whereas on the KTM Duke 250 it's more eager. 
Vroom vroom. So it depends what do you like more. Price. Now this is the main factor that's gonna that's differentiating both of these bikes. If you have two lakhs on road in Bangalore, it's cost KTM Duke two fifty is around two lakhs. And X showroom is around one lakh seventy or one lakh eighty thousand. Whereas FZ twenty five is one lakh twenty thousand. So it's the difference around fifty to fifty five thousand, and that's a big amount. Now it depends on you whether you can go that extra mile, that extra amount, and get the two fifty, or stay with the twenty five. My personal opinion would be if I had the money. 250 would be my choice just because it's a overall better package I feel and to me it would give a better satisfaction of owning that bike than owning the FZ25 and one thing that both the bikes are missing that I'm really not happy with is ABS I mean there is one more bike at 1 lakh 50 thousand which comes with ABS that the Dominar 400 and only one reason. that i can come up with that you should not buy the dominar 400 because fuel efficiency and maintenance cost also because dominar 400 is a new bike and bajaj uh, like testing out the engine first as a new engine also so you not you might not know how well it's going to be in the long term fz25 duke 250 i'm going to go with duke 250 Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video really informative, and this was the first time I was doing a video like this of the series Ask RC. And let me know what do you do you think in the comment section below. This is Shabdal signing off, and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye bye. Coming to the mileage and also maintenance cost. Now because it's a Yamaha. Because you.